All right, for those of you that are interested, I'm coming back with the part two video of the 2021 Giant TCR disc. And uh, the problem that I had that I talked about on the part one video is that the axle adapter was hitting the dropout on the frame before it actually uh, went flush with the dropout itself. So it was rubbing on the frame. The adapter was rubbing on the frame. But we got a solution um, and it is all up and ready to run. Let me give you a quick look. Uh, this is, I believe, a Gen 2 Wahoo Kicker Core. And we've got it all fixed and ready to go now. Um, you can see here that on the the issue was is that this was not bottoming out. Let me loosen this back off. It looked about like that because the axle adapter was actually hitting the frame on this side over here. And it would not go flush with the dropout. But now I had the axle adapter machined. Um, I had them take six millimeters off of this flange and I had them do the same outside diameter as this section right here and now we can tighten it all the way down nice and snug and it's not rubbing on the frame it is inside the dropout uh, quickly I'm gonna go ahead and take disassemble it <clears throat> and just show you the axle adapter real quick and show you the little bit of damage that was on the bike uh, from when I first put it on. Uh, here are s still some of the paint chips that came out. Let me show you here. Here's some of the paint chips that came off the frame whenever I took it uh, off the trainer the first time I rode it. And I only rode it for about 30 minutes, very low power, and uh, but it was enough for it to rub on the inside of the frame and cause some paint to chip off. So let me see if I can balance my phone here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bike off the trainer, show you the axle adapter, <clears throat> and show you the inside of the frame where the damage occurred. All right, so. Show you the inside of the frame real quick. <clears throat> if you can see here, just on the inside, you can see where the paint chipped away. You can kind of see that little black ring. Oop. You can see that black ring, that's where the axle adapter was hitting. Okay. Let me uh, set the phone. It's kind of hard to hold the bike and hold the phone all at the same time. Balance this back up here. All right, let me uh, hang loose. All right, axle adapter. This is the standard axle adapter that comes. Let me steady this phone. Standard axle adapter that comes with the Wahoo Kick Core. It's a flip flop axle, it has two different measurements it has a 148 width and it has a 142 width and uh, this flange here was six millimeters wider you can just see a line right about here and so it, the width of it came from about here to here so I took it to a machine shop it's called the uh, all access AXIS machining and tool and I'll put a link to their website in the uh, comments down below so if anybody needs to mail in their axle adapter to have it machined if you can't find the local machine shop then you can use the guy I used uh, good dude um, and as you can tell it looks perfect but anyway so this lip here was 12 millimeters wide it's now six millimeters wide right here where I'm touching it was 12 millimeters wide it came out to about right here where the tip of my fingernail is and he machined it all down to the same outside diameter 
and then he put a little bevel right here just to take the rough edge off. So the only problem with doing this now is that this adapter is will only work for a 142 axle. So if I wanted to put my mountain bike on it, I would have to get another one of these adapters that could flip flop to both sides. But this is now a dedicated 142 millimeter wide axle adapter. I'm gonna throw it back in the trainer. I'll put the bike back on it so you can see it. If I can do this without dropping the phone. And I haven't tightened the axle at all. You can see that the drive side sits just inside the dropout. And you can see that the non-drive side where we had the issue is sitting just inside the dropout. And put the axle back in. Come on now. There we go. Axle back in. Grabbing thread, and it should zoom in. Threads in, bottoms out on the dropout now, not on the frame. And it can get nice and snug, no play. I'm jerking that as hard as I can, there's no play, no rubbing. You can see the little bit of damage that's right there. That's where that paint chip was. And that little black mark right here is where the end of the uh, adapter was actually hitting the frame before it hit the dropout. So, you can now use the 2021 Giant TCR disc on the Wahoo Kicker Core. Compatibility is no longer an issue. But again, all access machine and tool did the work for me. They just machined part of the uh, axle adapter off so that it would all work. I'll put uh, either a link to their website or uh, drop uh, an email link in the comments below for any of y'all that want to have it done. So looking forward to getting on it and riding some Zwift when I can't get outside and ride. If y'all have any questions, comments, uh, let me know down below and I'll get to them the best I can. Hope this helps and uh, we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.